Welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you how to do some highlights today. So you're going to need this lightning cap from your local beauty supply store and it does come with a little crochet hook. So this is how the cap looks. There's plastic liner on the inside and that is the side that goes on the inside once you put the cap on your mannequin head. For my um, mixture, I'm going to use Blommy. No, you don't have to use Blommy because I know it can be a little pricey, but use whatever works best for you. In this case, I'm going to be using Blommy. And my ratio will be two and two, meaning I will be using two scoops of my lightener and two scoops of my developer. The scoop I'm using is from the lightener. So we like, you know, came, um, it came with it. And yeah, I'm just gonna mix all that together. Now that we have our mixture all together, we are going to apply our highlighting cap onto our mannequin. I'm going to be using a T-pin so the cap can stay in its spot because it does move around a lot. So you probably want to T-pin the front and the back. As far as the sides, you will just have to tie, tie the sides down. You will see me do it, but just tie it down in the front. The um, two little strings are meant to be tied together. And make sure it's very snug on the head as well and flat on the head and make sure all the hair is combed all the way down. Now, now once we do that, we are just going to start our crocheting using our hook and I will be skipping over each line. And just a, a friendly reminder that the more holes that you poke in this cap, the more highlights you will get. So it's honestly your preference on how far you want each hole to be. Now that we are finishing up putting these holes in our caps, we are going to start applying our mixture. And I'm just combing through the hair to make sure there are no tangles or anything. And when you apply your mixture, make sure that the hair is evenly saturated and fully saturated. Because if not, your color will be off. So don't be cheap, okay? Use your product because you will get better results when you make sure that it's fully coated from top to bottom. And yeah, we're just going to do that all over the head. And then I, I let this sit. I'm not sure how long I let it sit. I want to say maybe 20 minutes, but it honestly depends on the tone of blonde that you are wanting. Some hair colors quicker than others. So I really can't give you a time limit because our hair takes bleach differently. So you just let it sit until you're ready to rinse it out.
when shampooing it out what i'm going to do first is wet the hair because if you pull the cap off before you wet it it could be it could be a little tangly so i usually wet the hair so it's you know fully saturated and the cap will slide right on off and i also do this before i um shampoo it and condition and everything else and honestly the y'all the results came out so good and also this part is my favorite it just looks so satisfying like look at the way look at it it's just so pretty <laughs> But anyways, once once I did that, I didn't give me shampooing the whole thing, but I did shampoo it with um, neutralizing shampoo. And I also toned it using some blue shampoo and some purple shampoo. And then I applied my conditioner. And this is how they came out. Now when, now, when the hair is wet, it does look a little different. So you always want to make sure that you dry your hair so you can see the real results. But I will show you the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comment section. But be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in my next video.